Welcome to Jahaya Maravija here on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bottom button and subscribe to your girl Jahaira Maravija. I repeat, don't forget to hit that bottom button and subscribe to your girl Jahaira Maravija. Yes, I come with the tea. And we're here to speak about Cardi and Candace's Owens drama. As always, Candace is always attacking Cardi's character. And it's not nice because she acts like she's all proper, but she's constantly attacking the more successful person in the situation, which is Cardi B. And I'm going to tell you why I feel that Candace is jealous of Cardi. Unlike you with the shirt that you're wearing, it's clearly that you're all your clunky. I told you once and I'll tell you again, Candace Owens is a wannabe and she is just jealous like I told you guys. And now look at her, she's really showing her true colors. She is an Oreo cookie, and so is Kanye West. At least Cardi B shows love to her peoples. And the brown and black communities, what are you doing? Being America's top sellout, just like Kanye West. Yeah, I wish I was white, but you're not, so... <laughs> It's just so sad. Maybe it's because of the Biden situation where Cardi did get her interview up with Biden, where she told Cardi off that time about Biden and etc. And how, you know, she's always attacked Cardi over everything. And the last situation that she's attacked her on is her song with Gorilla called Tomorrow Too. Now she wants to speak upon it and how she feels about it. I think a lot of people don't really care, but her comments are always negative about Cardi. It's just so sad that she sits there and just attacks Cardi constantly and it looks like it's a lot of bullying to me. We're gonna hear what she has to say. I'm gonna upload what she has to say and then I'll be back with the rest of my commentary because it's really making me upset now. Recently uh, with the artist Glorilla, I believe that actually it's Glorilla's song in which Cardi is featured on, which is called Tomorrow Too. And I'm just gonna read you some of these lyrics because I think digital toxins should be spoken about. Just one portion. I don't speak dog wolf. I don't care what no sh say, no. I stay on her mind. I got condos in that head. Uh, she says she don't F with me. Who? Who said you can? Never. That N word a munch and he gone eat me like a mango. Ross weave. It be tickling my. Okay. Okay. Followed by wonder what I'll do tomorrow that these will be mad at. Oh, pick me, Cardi. I can tell you what um, I will be mad at. And it's the fact that despite the the fact that you made it out which is commendable that is a good thing that you started from a position where you had virtually nothing you got an opportunity on love and hip-hop and now you are in a place where you have some status despite all of those things rather than saying i'm going to use my position for good and i'm going to encourage people to do good 
you think that you can only say authentic to yourself by preaching poison. You know this is poison. You know that the majority of the girls that are listening to this are not ever going to make it out of the hood. You know that the majority of the young boys and the young girls that are listening to this are going to think that it's cool to have this sort of drama in their life and they're going to think it's cool to turn to the streets and they may be harmed, but you don't care about them. So you guys heard what she has to say about Cardi. As you know, she's always attacking everything that Cardi does. Everyone can do the same thing. It's the rap industry, girl. It's not politics. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to write a lyrics. And as I was saying time and time again before, Cardi's in, um, from the hood. She grew up in the hood. She's from New York. Here we speak slang. In other, people, in other states, they speak their own terminologies and no one gets upset, especially not Candace, because she speaks very proper and I give her that. But don't attack someone because of what she's doing in her artwork. We don't attack you when you're constantly sucking Republicans, you know, D-I-C-K. I'm just saying, it's very, just, it's getting out of hand and I'm just getting tired of it because Cardi's not doing anything to you and you just take it upon yourself to constantly attack Cardi and Cardi don't have time for you anymore. I just feel bad because Cardi's in a situation where she's a mother now and she does want to change. Yes, she does. But she's entitled to her process. Everyone in life is entitled to their process, okay? And you, Candace, if you don't want to hear her songs, don't listen to them. Don't look for her lyrics and leave her alone. Just stop it already because you talk so much BS about how Cardi is doing so wrong. This is a woman that donated $100,000 to her middle school. Yes, she donated $100,000 to her middle school. What have you donated, Candace? What have you done for the community? But criticize the community, put people down, and always want to be so proper that you think that you're white. Uh, so I, I think that you really, you, you just an Oreo cookie. At this point, you're a, a dark on the outside, very lovely, but on the inside, you are a Karen. Let me know what you guys think about this conversation right here. You guys are here on Jahaira Maravilla TV. Don't forget to hit that bottom button and subscribe to your girl, Jahaira Maravilla. I repeat, don't forget to hit that bottom button and subscribe to your girl, Jahaira Maravilla. And if you want to, leave your comments down below. And you guys already know I'm here for the tea, okay? I love you guys so very much. And you guys are tuning in with your girl. The Hyra Maravilla. Peace and love. Bye. Can I do this? <laughs>